When photographer Jalil Najafov first saw the big white, his first impression was, is that real? Najafov, a shark lover, conservationist, and cinematographer, was exploring the Mexican coast with some pals in August 2019. A great white shark was sighted swimming near the group's boat. This was already an enticing prospect. The party then noticed a weird bite mark on the shark's side. I was blown away since I had never seen something like this before, Najafov told CNN. On such a large shark, the bite mark was enormous. With his GoPro 7 waterproof camera, the Azerbaijan-born shark activist and videographer swam into the waters below to catch an image of the large fish with the bite. The huge white shark shot taken by Najafov has gotten a lot of attention. In late December 2021, he released one of the resulting images for the first time on his Instagram account. Najafov claims that he misplaced his memory card after the Mexico trip and only recently retrieved the images. The photograph piqued Najafov's interest. I've worked with sharks and shark content for a long time and have a lot of knowledge in this sector, Najafov says. I always know when I see anything unusual, and I've never seen such a massive shark scar. People speculated about the origins of the scar, which Najafov described as crazy. Najafov had requested the help of friends and fellow shark researchers before making the post. The hypothesis that the shark was bitten in a mating act was ruled out by Dr. Tristan Guttridge, who runs the marine NGO Saving the Blue and has been on Discovery Channel Shark Week. According to Najafov, Guttridge's response was, I'd rule out mating presumably due to position since the wound appears like it's healed a fair bit and although mating scars can be ugly they are more superficial than that. According to Najafov, Guttridge came to the conclusion that the shark was most likely attacked by another shark. Another acquaintance and Shark Week graduate, Michael Dahmeyer, who is currently the head of the Marine Conservation Science Institute, told Najafov that he was sure this is competitive violence and that the wound would have healed and been unidentifiable. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our content, please like, share, and subscribe.